Hi everybody and welcome to the reveal of the 12 by 12 scrapbook folios. Um, as you can see here, I'm hoping that they're just about in shot. Um, I've used two different styles. This is my prototype, which is using two lots of papers from AB Studio, uh, Never Never Land and Diary. And this one, um, I've changed a few details uh, on this. For instance, I've made the spine a little bit wider. I've made some of the pockets a bit deeper. This is Travelogue by Craftsmith. Um, both kits, or both books will be available in kit form uh, in due course. Um, but the one thing that's missing, um, for obvious reasons, is that right now I haven't got the charms. Both kits will come with charms um, appropriate to the book styles. So let's have a look. I'm going to look at the AB Studio one first. Um, here it is. I'm hoping to goodness I can get all this uh, in, in shot for you. Um, but the front basically consists of two pockets. Um, this book is just over 12 inches um, square. Uh, there's an awful lot of photo mats in it. And to be honest with you, I lost the will to live making photo mats. So the Travelogue one hasn't got anything like the amount in that it should have. And I haven't finished this one either. But, you know, there's there's just there's, there's too many. So, like I said, on the front here, we have got the um, the pockets. When you open this book up, what you've got here uh, on this side um, is a, a closure that opens up. So you've got a belly band with more um, pockets that opens up. And this is where it's going to get really, really hard to show you um, in in shot. But this opens up to more pockets, one there um, and one down um, at the bottom as well. So I'll try and show you that. Uh, and then it opens up onto these six photo mats here, which uh, do open up. Now, on this particular book, what I've done is I've made um, a pocket here to put photo mats in. Because this is 12 by 12 inches square, you'll find that that is absolutely perfect size for a scrapbook layout, which is what I've done on the travel log book to show you. So that is um, the left hand side of the book. So I'm just going to clip that together. On the other one, I've actually used a magnet. I didn't on that one for some reason, best known to myself. Right now on this side, what we've got here are, uh, is a belly band with um, more photo uh, mats. That one's got a bit of a shaker pocket in it. Um, and what I've also done here um, is I've made a sort of an insert book. This is very much modelled on the uh, wallet that I made. It's just a little bit of, of extra interest really for, for your photos and that's what I've put in into that pocket there. So there's two pockets and these open independently of each other. Now here we've got space for um, photo mats. There's flaps on these pockets here which also give you space for photo mats but like I said I lost the will to live so I didn't really make any more of those. That opens up again and what we've got here um, is a, a page with a belly band, more photo mats, told you about those um, and then space behind here to put a few, a few pictures. That opens up, there is a pocket there for you to add in um, let me just nick that photo mat so you can put photo mats in there. Some more of these um, photo mats and then a big pocket there as well for photos. OK, so that all closes up and clicks with a magnet. On this side, what we've got here is we've got another little pocket down here. This then opens up to provide more pocket space with more photo mats you can see why I lost the will to live making photo mats can't you and that then opens up again here at the back what I've done again is the pocket lots of space for photo mats like I said you can fit a 12 by 12 um, scrapbook layout on that and then on this side finally what we've got is more photo mats little pocket there pocket here again for photo mats, three more photo mats that open up here and then we've got a pocket which you can just put photo mats in but I've also made this little book, well I haven't finished it yet, that little book there that just slots over the top just for a bit of interest. Okay, so that would be the gatefold cover which goes 
in there whichever way up you want it and then the back of the book is just plain so moving on to the travel log book this is quite a lot simpler in terms of design um but the actual design of the book is exactly the same so on the front like i said i extended the spine just a little bit because i found with the other one when it was full of photo mats it wasn't quite big enough and then on the front we've just got more photo mats there i might have to use these throughout actually so i'll just take one with me because i didn't make enough when you open uh, this book up here we have got a um magnetized closure here again was the belly band with the photo mat that i mentioned from the other book and then when we open this book up here we've again got flap and the same again at the bottom there with photo mats if you open these up like i said we've got room for a full 12 by 12 scrapbook layout and that's just something that i've just very very roughly done there for you um to have a look at so i'm going to close that up and move over to this side now this here these little books here that, that that i've made as you know on the other one um i made them as little shaker pockets uh, but that's just to show you um another way of, of dealing with them the nice thing about these papers is that they come with these square bits already cut out so that's really wonderful in here i've just put some um photo mats using postcards that those open independently and once again what we've got is the flaps that we had in the other book um and the the photo mats open up this bit again um we've got the gatefold here which i'll go on to but if you open it up there's another space there for a full scrapbook layout um and then this is exactly the same as the previous book We've got our belly band here with the magnetic closure. Open that up and we've got space for photo mats and a big pocket there. Pocket on the side there as well. And then uh, on this side, let's just close that up. On our gatefold, what we've got is the magnetic closure, a pocket there for photo mats, a big pocket there for photo mats. Open that up. And once again here we can have our photo mats and then we can make fold over uh, things in that as well so there you go there are the books um i'll be putting up kits for these over the next couple of days um in the scrap lab um uh, shop i will say it's not going to be the cheapest kit in the world um i have a limited number of both this one uses four packs of paper this one uses just one because uh, it comes with 48 sheets. Um, but what I'm planning to do because I'm not um, posting out at the moment is maybe make, um, you know, available in a couple of payments, which would make it easier for people. Um, I am not going to be teaching this class until after the lockdown. So finished. So I hope you enjoy them. Um, I'd be really interested to know which ones you like the best. And I look forward to hearing your views on them. Thanks a lot for joining me today. Bye bye.